Completely new to the gymnastics world, parkour was recently added by the Federation of International Gymnastics to its sporting disciplines. Surprisingly, parkour and gymnastics are similar, as they both encompass acrobatic sports. Parkour started in the late 1980s in France, and what it is, it's the movement using your body through natural man-made obstacles, moving as efficiently and as quickly as possible. The beauty of parkour is that almost anybody can do it and you can do it almost anywhere at any age because it doesn't require a lot of equipment. You can do it in an urban environment, in a gym environment, it doesn't really matter. But because of that it can also be really dangerous. So one of the important things to learn, especially when starting off, is to learn the basic moves, learn how to fall, learn how to land properly before you start throwing the big tricks. And then when you do want to start learning the big tricks, then you make sure you learn it in a safe environment, maybe where there's crash mats or trampolines or something that can assist you in learning the tricks. In exploring the sport of parkour over the last year, I really enjoyed the freestyle part a lot. It's allowed me to learn some of the old gymnastic skills that I used to do, to learn some new skills that I'm not familiar with, and just use my body in ways that, that is fun. I incorporate strength, agility, fitness, and it just feels like play. So I definitely think parkour is here to stay. Um, not only for adults, but especially for kids as a sport. It encourages them to use their whole body. It promotes fitness, strength, agility, helps them to learn how to concentrate. Um, it helps them with their self-discipline. It encourages respect for each other, for the sport, and for themselves. And it's a great confidence builder. So I would really love to see it grow in South Africa. Gymnastics is for everyone. Get involved, get moving, and activate your potential. Visit gymnasticsa.co.za and follow us on social media.